a brief intro and then we'll go into Then, in 2007, the former Pakistan Prime Minister, Benazir Bhutto, made an astonishing claim. She had just escaped a massive car bomb. In an interview with Sir David Frost on Al Jazeera, Benazir Bhutto said bin Laden had been murdered. Omar Sheikh, the man who murdered uh, Osama bin Laden. Now I know that having dealings with people... The BBC's website edited out the reference to bin Laden's murder, fueling a host of conspiracy sites, claiming the truth had been censored. But had it? She'd talked about Osama bin Laden off camera um, and very much in the present tense rather than the past tense. Uh, and so I just thought this was a slip of the tongue, a misspeak, as they say. One could have clarified it, I suppose, but it just seemed so obviously, uh, you know, wacko uh, that, uh, that it wasn't, wasn't necessary. This part of the conspiracy theory has melted away. In fact, Omar Sheikh has been in prison in Pakistan since 2002, when he was convicted of having murdered the American journalist Daniel Pearl. And both before and after the Frost broadcast, Benazir Bhutto talked about bin Laden being alive in other interviews. Well, if there's overwhelming evidence, I hope that I would be able to take out Osama bin Laden myself without depending on the Americans. There are conspiracies. I mentioned the CIA doing anything, and people will tend to believe it. You know, that they are a blessing to conspiracy theorists. But, but basically, you've got to work out which are the real ones and which are not. A month later, Benazir Bhutto was murdered in a suicide attack thought to be by a Taliban group. <laughs> 